We'll guide you through how to fix your ethernet not working in Windows 11. If you find this useful and it solves your problem, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. And let's do this. The first thing you should do is just make sure that the ethernet is properly plugged into the router and your computer. If it is, the next thing I recommend doing is try restarting your router and also restarting your PC. They both sound very simple, but often it can fix the problem. To restart your router, there may be a button on the back or just simply unplug it for around 10 seconds and then plug it back in. And to restart your PC, simply go and tap on the Windows button and then tap on the power button and then you can go and hit on restart. For the next method, we're gonna go to our control panel, but if we just go and tap on search like this and then type in network connections like that you should go and see this shortcut here click here and then what you need to do is find the ethernet you're currently using in this case it's this one here ethernet right click on it and make sure that yours says disable if it says enable click it because mine says disable it means mine is already enabled if your ethernet is enabled then try right clicking on it and then you can try clicking on diagnose like this and you'll get this get help pop up um, and you're going to go and have some tips here because mine is already connected, I'm not having any sort of solutions, um, but if yours is having problems, there may be a solution here. You can try these tips here, but otherwise I've got a few more methods for you. For the next method, you can go and close off the network connections and you need to go to the bottom of your computer and you need to type in device manager, just like that. So go and click it and here we are. So these are all your different devices and what you need to do is locate network adapters, which is this one here, click on the arrow to expand it and then go and find your ethernet. So in my case, my ethernet is this one here, Realtek Gaming Family Controller. And I know this because if I go back to my network connections in the control panel, I'll go back here. Mine is called Realtek Gaming Family, as you can see under my ethernet. So now I know that. <laughs> once you know you have the right one, click it once and then right click it. And what you can do is click on update driver, then press search automatically and it should go and hopefully find an update. If it doesn't, don't worry. If it does and it updates, then try using it and hopefully that works. If it still isn't working, then what you can do is right click it and then press uninstall device. That will then go and uninstall this sort of driver or controller. And then after you've uninstalled it, you need to go and restart your computer. To do that, you just click on the Windows button, press the power button and press restart. And restarting it is then going to go and reinstall it. So don't worry, you aren't losing it forever. But yeah, just cause it completely go and reinstall. And hopefully that will go and fix your problem. I hope one of these methods worked for you. If they did, please consider leaving a like. Peace.